do you need a degree no should you start applying even if you haven't got your certificate yes as long as you are on the pathway of getting it you can literally put on your cv like of course hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i just wanted to you know take you back to reality and talk about something that is very important to me and that is the fact that i'm a business analyst so you may be watching this video because you yourself want to be a business analyst and i want to assure you you are at the right channel look no more i'm gonna tell you everything you need to know and how i personally did it um so yeah without further ado let's get right into this video be Before becoming a business analyst actually I was doing a PMO and this is something that I can talk about in another video if you guys want to know about my experience being a PMO what it entails and a PMO basically stands for project management officer it was really fun at the beginning you know it was my first proper corporate experience um, and I was loving it I did it for two years and you know my gradually as I was doing it my love for it just died and that's because first I wasn't enjoying it as much um, I really loved the people I was working with and the team, you know, but it just wasn't quite for me. It became very admin based. So the whole time I was there, I'm like, okay, I really, 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 really need to move. Also, just a side note, I'm part of an agency and this agency basically ensures that you can get experiences in different areas of work in the corporate space. And then at the end of like the years you are with this agency, you can then decide what it is that you want to do and that's why I basically decided to join them as like a graduate scheme program and honestly it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made simply because although sometimes I know people look at agency like oh it helped me a lot because I genuinely didn't know what I wanted to do I went to university I studied sociology um again I wasn't sure what to do with it so afterwards I decided to do my master's in international business management and this was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. In fact, I didn't actually make the decision. My dad was like, you should do it. You should have like, no. He was like, I will pay like, you know, part of the tuition fee. I was like, okay, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> On top of that, I wasn't getting a job. So I was just there. And instead of just, you know, working at Max Spencer, which was what I was doing at the time, I was like, let me do business. I can do Max Spencer on the side. And honestly, one of the greatest decisions that my dad has helped me make. So I'm really grateful. So I did that, got this job, doing PMO, wasn't enjoying it. And the goal was never to really to become a BA, but I, as I started to like, you know, find my feet a little bit in the industry, it's just something that always intrigued me. And I was like, I'm gonna do it. And my contract at place was coming to an end. So I said, this is my opportunity. I'm going back to the agency. And within this time frame, I really, really, really need to get on my Zoom and get a BA job. I've been with this agency for at this point two years and a bit and I've only done PMO. This the you know the contract with this agency runs for just three years. It can go beyond if you want but I'm not trying to go beyond and obviously normally if you have an experience in one thing that's where you you just find yourself being at and I didn't want to go into another PMO job. In fact if they said or if a PMO is the job I could only find I was gonna leave. I was prepared to leave but then lord and behold I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my BCS exam certificate. And that's step one to becoming a BA. You don't need a degree. You don't need to like, you know, have an undergrad or master's in business analytics or business analysis. I know those two are like different. Um, I'm not the greatest with number. So for me, it was, I wasn't looking at analytics, but I'm looking at analysis. This is all you need, y'all. This is all you need. I've still got my notes and stuff still in here, but this is all you need. This is the BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT. This is all you need. And once you do this, I you have to then take an exam. So you study this. Uh, it's not as hard or difficult. And it literally tells you every single thing you need to know. All the different foundations, all the things you need to know to kind of understand the business process or like, you know, how to gather requirements, which is one of the integral parts of being a BA. How to like, you know, get the most out of interviews when you're trying to understand the business and what it is that they actually need. It's all in this book. And to this day, I've been a BA for what, four months now. I still reference this book. If I need more clarification on how to do something, 
I go to this. This book is really, really handy. This is the fourth edition. I don't know if a fifth edition, edition is out, but also you want to make sure you're getting the appropriate book. How you become certified, I did it through a website, not a website, but a training course site that my agency company, I shouldn't really be calling them an agency because technically they're not, but <laughs> if I'm explaining to you, that's what it kind of gets. I actually did my exam through a training baptized site and they have everything you basically need first of all they offer all the training courses so if you actually don't get the book you can actually follow the course that training by size give you on their site and technically it should have everything but i feel like having the book is very tangible and very needed um for just when you are in the practical field or actually doing the work of a BA just so you can like have reference because obviously I think on that on the training websites you have a year to kind of do it and then after a year the course is fine you can no longer access it so in that sense I find the book very useful I didn't have to buy this again my company gave it to me amazing um, <laughs> really really grateful at the time I started with this company because it really helped me a lot find my feet and yeah once you do this training by size course you do the exam you pass and that is literally all it takes now it's just a matter of getting practical experience so again i'm very lucky in the sense that i'm of a company that is trying to you know give us an experience in multiple different directions so that you as an individual can actually figure out what it is that you want to be and what it is that you want to do for yourself and for me, after the PMO experience, I was very, very sure that it wasn't the path for me. And I really, 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 really wanted to try what being a VA is all about. Again, it could have gone either way. I could have gone into it and said, no, this is actually also not for me. And then, or I could have gone in and said, absolutely love this. This is for me. This is a bit of me. And to the most high God, it was the other way around. So I'm very happy about that. I really, really enjoy it. I it's been amazing and I'm really enjoying it so I haven't got anything bad to say what does a BA job actually consist of you may ask you as the person you are basically trying to understand the need of the business and also what it is that the technical team requires a lot of BA's jobs come in handy when there's like a technical transformation from let's say one system to the other and so for example in my case I mean I'm working on SAP projects and that means um you know we are transitioning from one system to the next and as a BA my job is to gather the requirements and when I say requirements it's basically to gather all the information that we need in order for the technical team to implement those in our new system that is like the simplest way I can put it I'm trying to think how I can make it easier does that make sense please comment in the section below if it is making sense if not then I can like try to explain it more in the comment section to you but yeah it's basically you are like the I don't know if it's a word interpreter, but almost like that. You understand, you try your best to understand the business need and you communicate that. Obviously, you have like your requirement sheets and everything, the user stories, all of that. And then you kind of give that to the technical team and you are basically like trying to break the gap. Because think about it this way. Technical people use a lot of technical terms and terminologies that oftentimes for the general business person, they may not understand, right? So you as the BA, you try to understand all these terms and you break the barrier between the business and the tech team to understand each other. And that's why the requirements are very important. You break the gap between the business and the tech team. <laughs> I'm really, really trying to like make sure it all makes sense. But that's like, yeah, does that, does that actually make sense? We are friends, so you tell me if it's not making sense, yeah? And part of it being a B as well, it's probably very important that you understand maybe agile way of working. What's the other one? If it's not agile, then it's what? Another thing that comes with being a BA is that you need to do some process maps. So you want to probably get yourself familiar with like Visio. This is like a software that um, allows you to talk design a process and when i'm using the word design but it's don't panic don't don't panic now it's real simple it's basically let's say we have um a youtube video right you want to talk to the process of uploading a youtube video you record that's step one so that is in the process so everything that you do tangibly you want to record it it can even be like you can even add in like a system doing something so for example relying on the internet to like upload and then you can like do uh negative scenarios of like what if the internet shuts down or something yeah. you record a video you edit a video 
even prior, prior to recording a video for example some people some companies or some processes you may want to talk about the beginning area before you even get to the recording a video part setting up a camera setting up your tripod making sure your lighting is good all these things are like part of a process talking us through exactly what it is you need to do exactly what it is that needs to happen for something to work efficiently or to know the current position you can document like a current position of how something is and then you can then document the current po the future position of how something is to be so we call it like the as is process and the to be process so the as is is always the current the to be is always the future and again as i said earlier a lot of times a ba comes in handy when there is a, a transformation a change whatever and so again we are moving from one system to another right so you want to document the as is process that is currently in place and the future to be again oftentimes a lot of companies they are trying to eliminate a lot of manual processes so we hope that from the as is and the to be you can like do a comparison and be like actually this is much better and you can also be like actually this step is very you know essential it's really interesting i hope it's all making sense you don't need to know everything as well you know people are really friendly in this space and oftentimes i go to somebody that's really experienced if i really don't know something i'm like okay so right now mapping something uh it's got all these different other elements that you can use for example if something's exclusive or inclusive where do you place it just ask but again this book tells you but obviously i didn't i didn't go to this book in this instance i went to somebody who has a much better experience so i can hear it verbally as well that's a little bit about being a ba it's really easy to get into you don't need a degree you don't you know you need to kind of have it all together as long as you're determined and it's something you really want to do you just gotta strive for it and keep going at it um i've been doing it again as i said for four months and i'm truly enjoying it so if you know somebody that's interested share this video with them uh, message me comment and i will be responding as usual and yeah i'm trying to think what else i should be telling you luckily for me as well one thing that really helped me was that i um, did a training a five-day training and you know we had like a specialist be coming and they talked about you know the experience as a ba they kind of walked us through some of the things we need to know and that was honestly that was god <laughs> i was not part of this um i was not part of the cohort I spoke with like my delivery manager i'm like please like i really 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 want to do this please find a spot speak to the instructor the coordinator and see if they will let me she spoke to them and they said yes of course and i was like oh my god this is my sign this is god so as soon as i done that training took my exam on training by size passed and the rest has been history that's my experience of being a ba it's really good i really love it and if you have any more questions please leave in the comment section below i feel like i was talking too fast apologies if i was um <laughs> but yeah being a ba has literally changed my life and it's, i'm much happier for it as well compared to a pmo but if you want me to share my experience as being a pmo why i didn't enjoy it all of that jazz please leave me a comment or even if you don't i may still do it regardless who knows all right then thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you later bye